Okay, today I'm going to do a how-to video on how to set up the spectrum telemetry system using the various sensors. Um, this is what I've done on my Carbon Z Yak. Uh, we'll start off with the voltage sensor. The instruction manual states to take the voltage sensor and solder it to the ESC uh, connector or any other connector that you want to check your voltages on. Um, I want to check the voltage on my battery, so what, but I didn't want to do it uh, in a permanent way. I didn't want to solder it to my ESC plug in the event that I wanted to transfer it over to something else. So what I did is I went by my local hobby store today and I bought uh, the male and female EC3 plugs uh, and you can use any plug that you normally use uh, on your particular plane or, or vehicle that you're wanting to set the telemetry unit up on. So if you have a, you know, a certain type of plug, then you obviously buy the plugs that match that. You want a male and female, so you have one end that goes into the ESC and one that goes into the battery. So then I use 12 gauge wire, which is the size of wire that I have for my ESC and battery. And you want to stay with that, uh, the same size wire that you have for your ESC and battery. Because if you go with something that's smaller, you risk uh, overheating that wire because of the current rating for it and you, you risk causing damage to your plane and possibly a fire. Uh, so then I had them solder the sensor leads on the same side that goes into the ESC because this way once I plug it in there most cases it's going to be staying there anyhow unless I want to transfer it over to another plane. This way I risk, I don't risk breaking that little small wire from the sensor. Then I will route this down into the telemetry module and it looks like I have enough wire. So uh, now I'm going to turn the plane over and I'll run this wire through it uh, and I will show you how I've got my temperature probe set up on the ESC. On the Carbon Z Yak here they've got it tucked in all the way down underneath there and so it's difficult to get to but uh, I think I managed pretty well. And uh, so I'm going to turn the camera off and set the plane up for underneath and we'll see you shortly. Okay, here I've got the unit or the plane upside down. This here is the lead for my voltage sensor. This here is the lead for my temperature sensor. The temperature sensor I have wrapped around, or actually I have it tucked underneath the ESC on uh, my Carbon Z Yak here. The way they have the ESC is kind of tucked up in there pretty good, and I didn't want to mess with it too much, so I just kind of pulled it back a little bit, and I was able to take the sensor and put that over the end of the ESC and I tucked it up underneath. And I took like a little screwdriver, tucked it up in there nice and gently and uh, so the ESC is in there still pretty good. And you want the sensor to be right next to the ESC somehow. Uh, I wouldn't use any tape because uh, that may uh, prevent any airflow across the cooling uh, unit there. Uh, but they do have a nice little tube that they uh, have on the sensor so you can slide the ESC over or yeah I mean you can slide the sensor over the ESC and then tighten it up with that little tube that's on the wires there uh, again I wouldn't use any tape uh, for fear that it might uh, prevent some of the airflow over the the, uh, the cooling uh, fins on it so uh, for their voltage and your temperature probe they will plug into the Y harness that comes with the telemetry module and then that plugs into, it looks like the center plug there and it's labeled up and on the top of the telemetry module we won't be able to see it here but uh, it'll say voltage and temperature I did have uh, my voltage connected to the wrong spot I had it connected to the RPM one earlier and I uh, wasn't getting any telemetry reading so hopefully I didn't ruin my telemetry module on that uh, we'll find out here shortly uh, so yeah those will plug into the Y harness they both go into the same spot on the telemetry module I forgot to bring any little tie wraps to make that all nice and neat so I'll have to fix that up when I get home